Hey there, Judy Jamison the Psychic here, and I am so freaking happy you are here. I don't know exactly why you are here, okay? I'm not omnipotent or all-knowing. But if you're really serious about completely transforming everything about your life and working with your spirit guides, you're gonna wanna hang out and watch this video. I'm gonna share with you the number one secret that you really gotta master and understand and start incorporating into your soul in order order to really kick freaking ass and skyrocket all of your natural intuitive and psychic gifts. So to be completely transparent and honest and open with you, because this is what I do for a living, this is my business, at the end of this training, I will give you an open invite to a very amazingly special online course I have that will show you every single thing that I know, 45 years of experience working with my guides to help you become your own psychic and transform your life. So I don't know if you're here just because you're farting around, shits and giggles, you're curious. I don't know if you've been working with spirit or you're curious about learning how this kind of stuff works. I don't know if you're here because you're in a lot of pain and you just want to transition and change every area of your freaking life. Maybe you're going through some kind of spiritual awakening or trauma or transition in your life. Maybe you're struggling with connecting with spirit. You don't know what to expect or maybe you think you're making it all up in your head. Maybe you've already been working with spirit and you just want to really enhance and skyrocket your gifts. This video is really going to help you out. I'm even going to give you a sneak peek to one of the online paid video trainings that I have. All right, so before we start here with this video lesson, if you've never met me, stumbled upon me, give me a quick second, let me introduce myself so you know who you're working with. My name's Judy Jameson and I am a psychic. I teach intuition and psychic development, mostly to empaths who are ready to heal for trauma, uh, tragedy, toxic and abusive relationships, and life's general bullshit. How to work with your natural intuitive and psychic gifts, your spirit guides, even your crossed over loved ones, to end life's physical shit cycle and transition into the person you were born to be, how you designed your soul when you were up there before you came into this physical body. To really start living the kind of life you were born to live, the kind of life that far exceeds your wildest freaking dreams. So if that sounds good to you, I'm your new virtual best friend, mentor, and teacher. All right, so the number one thing with learning how to develop your gifts completely and solely relies on the relationship that you have with yourself. You have to know yourself inside and out on a very deep, personal and intimate energetic level. Now I'm not talking about what's your favorite food or your favorite color or what do you do for fun. The kind of relationship that I'm talking about with yourself is you have to be able to understand, decode, and manage your own thoughts and your own emotions. Because if you can't understand and read your own energy, how are you going to understand and pick up psychic energy, right? That's where you get confused, wondering if you're making it up or if this is really real or you're really plugged in and connected. The fastest way to really get to know your soul, and I said your soul, okay? Forget the physical world, what logic and reason tells you. I'm talking about you on a very deep, intimate, personal soul level. Why you think the things that you think, why you feel the things that you feel, why you react the way that you react to things. It all revolves around doing what's called shadow work and cord cutting. Shadow work is the ability to dive deep within your subconscious, things that you may or may not even be aware of, and kind of find those missing puzzle pieces as to why certain things are going on, why you're feeling the way you're feeling, why you're thinking the way that you're thinking, why you're reacting the way that you're reacting. Each and every single one of us has inside of us what's called an inner child. As we go through our adult life, we become programmed through our parents, through society and social media. And what that basically does is it pulls you further and further and further away from your true self, from your soul. You're basically programmed how to survive life instead of really tuning into yourself and living life. When you do shadow work, you have the ability to not only understand what is going on within you, but you have the ability to permanently remove anything that is draining you, blocking you, pulling you down, or just derailing any parts of your life. A lot of times it's our own limiting 
beliefs and internal shit. It's like sometimes we could be our own worst enemy. So when you do shadow work, you go deep within that subconscious, deep into the darkest parts of yourself. When you dive down in there, forget the worldly surface stuff, okay? Say there's some kind of crappy situation going on at the moment, right? And immediately your first thought is this person is that or this person's whatever. Or maybe you beat yourself up and you, you're like, I'm such a freaking dipshit. I can't believe I did that. I'm stupid, whatever, right? We all do it to ourselves. But when you do shadow work, you dive into the layers and peel away the layers. When you understand why you're thinking something, why you're feeling something, or why certain repeat patterns keep happening in your life, that is when everything makes sense, right? That's where you get the keys and the answers. There's three basic steps to really fully powering up and kicking ass with intuition and psychic development. The first one is knowing yourself on a very deep, intimate, personal level level and then healing things that are not healed within you. So to give you an example, if there's something going on in your life and all of a sudden you feel triggered or sad or overwhelmed, there's a reason why you are feeling that way and thinking that way. It's because there's something buried deep within you in here that is unhealed. That is the inner child. It's like getting closure or why the answer to why things are happening, but you have to answer it for yourself, not why what is going on in the outside world. Everything revolves around you going within you and taking complete and total freaking responsibility and ownership for everything that is going on within you and your outside life. This is where you dive in and you're able to get those answers, get the guidance, get the freaking closure, and then take the steering wheel to your life. When you get in that state or that mindset or that practice, that is when you become a very clear, open, powerful conduit and channel so you're able to receive outside guidance and information from spirit, your angels, your guides, your crossed over loved ones, and anything that is non-physical. If you don't have your shit together, you're really going to struggle understanding and decoding outside psychic stuff, right? Make sense? The second part, and really kicking ass with intuition and psychic development, once you've got the first one down, understanding yourself, cracking your own internal personal code. The second part is learning how to work with and trust your intuition. You know, those spidey senses as my girlfriend calls them, or those aha moments, or those things that just come to you that you just, you, there's no worldly, physical, scientific way to prove how you know what you know, or how you feel what you feel, or any of that stuff, right? You just got to throw logic and freaking worldly reason out the freaking window. So like I said, the second part is learning how to trust your intuition. This is where every everybody freaking screws up. You either think you're making it up or you're overreacting or you're thinking too freaking deep or the worst part, and we all freaking do it, I'm guilty of it too, you downplay it. You, you get this intuitive message or this guidance or this pull to go do something, right? It's like a little tiny silent little angel on your shoulder, right? Talking to you, guiding you. The next thing that comes in that F's everybody up is what's called the ego. It's like the little devil on your shoulder and it's loud and it's yelling at you. It doesn't leave you to freak alone. It doesn't shut the hell up. It controls you through fear. What if I fail? What if I'm wrong? What if I look like an idiot? But the other thing it does, it keeps you suppressed in a safety zone of what is normal to you and what is comfortable to you. This is where we come in and we second guess everything and then we try and justify it with worldly logic and reason. That can't be right or you're afraid to get out of your comfort zone. I can go on and freaking on. Once you learn how to trust yourself and how to trust your intuition, you come to life and you freaking grow like a tree. Once the tree's growing and the limbs are branching off, think of them like spidey senses where you're able to be that energetic antenna and pick up on all the outside energy world, all the psychic stuff. Once you've gotten through step number one and step number two, you're freaking golden. That is when all your light bulbs are beaming and the energetic world can see you. And thus, since you know how to read your own energy, you'll be able to decipher, is it your own thoughts? Is your your own imagination? Am I plugged in or not? 
not, you'll be able to trust it. And then you're, you're smooth freaking sailing. You are completely open to receiving all of that energetic downloads and information, next steps, guidance, answers, whatever in the world it is that you need to go forward like freaking non-stoppable rocket fuel into abundance in every fucking area of your life. I know I sound really passionate here, but this is what working with your spirit guides is like. Every single thing about your life is enhanced and transformed in the most phenomenal, magical freaking ways. You will be able to go through life and handle massive shit storms with ease because remember in the beginning step number one is getting to know yourself understanding what is triggering you and why is this triggering you and then once you have those answers by doing the internal shadow work you got the freaking answers everything clicks and makes sense then you're able to shift where it is that you're going into a new phenomenal happy abundance filled freaking life so if you got about 15 minutes here like i was saying there's an online course i have called open your intuition and your psychic senses if you want to learn how to remove every single worldly logic physical thing and even spiritual things that are blocking you from living your most amazing freaking life this is the course for you i even threw in a whole shit ton of freaking bonus videos those bonus videos Videos include how to program objects right getting messages and insight and healing healing energy from any freaking object how to read crystals how to connect with nature um, how to do card reading how to do numerology how to create a self-love schedule mediumship and meditation really cool freaking stuff so anyway I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek as to one of the paid online videos in this particular online course So let's talk about programming certain objects or if you're into the woo woo stuff, another way that you can phrase this is creating your own spells using objects as a gateway to either help you get in the, the momentum, the mindset that you need to be in order to connect with spirit. It's basically invoking your magical energy into objects to use as tools to help guide you and aid you. So to give you an example, um, as to how this kind of stuff works and then how to inject that energy into it. Uh, an example would be pretty much all of my jewelry. So my earrings here, if you notice, they're hoops, they're circles. They're not just hoops and circles to me. Um, I programmed these earrings so that whenever I am wearing them and I put them on, it is helping me to open my ear chakras, whether it's to help listen, to be listen better to things that are going on around me or to channel in information and hear it. The other thing too is uh, this main necklace that I wear a lot. Whenever I want to spend the day completely tuning into and working uh, with spirit, I wear this necklace. My rings, the same exact thing. To give you another example, uh, some of the pens that I use when I'm creating courses. So you see this one has like a, a big ass fake diamond on the end of it. If you're someone who's into journaling, um, writing, you can take a pen and inject energy into it and then just kind of program this as your magical pen to connect with spirit or journal or whatever the hell it is that you want to use it for. Another thing that I like to do, um, this here I have a deck of tarot cards in here. So there is a obviously um, a cloth that's wrapped around them and it has like little peace signs and flowers and hearts all around it. Uh, the intent here with this is to keep um, my cards that are inside pure, happy, intent, filled with positive healing, peaceful messages. And then inside here I also keep a quartz um, or not a quartz, a selenite crystal, which is, again, it's energy, everything's energy, programmed to keep on top of the cards to constantly have them um, clean and cure, cure, <laughs> yeah, help cure things. Clean and pure, um, I have no idea what the freak I was trying to say. You can program anything. You can program your shoes, your clothes, your freaking sunglasses, whatever. It doesn't matter. So I have here four different steps or processes. This is something uh, that I do in my personal life that I'm just sharing with you, my process. Now, the awesome thing, again, about working with spirit is you tune into your own stuff and create your own ed energy, create your own magical spells, whatever it is that you want to call it. It all has the same end result. So the first thing that you would want to do is clean the item. You want to energetically cleanse it and clear it of any extra 
energy or residual whatever. So to give you an example as to how that works. All right, my little crystal ball here, right? When I bought this, I don't know how many, I don't know who dug it up. I don't know who polished it. I don't know how many hands it touched and energy that it, it absorbed till it got into my hands to use it for what it is that I want to use it for. Um, same thing with the pen, the jewelry, anything. So some of the, I'll say woo woo wees, if you're into this kind of stuff, which I totally do this stuff, um, how to clean the energy of it. If you have sage, uh, one of the things that I like to do, and of course I don't have sage in front of me, would be to burn the sage and let the smoke completely engulf the object and purify it. Sage is used as a cleansing property. It's You can think of sage as like a negative energy bug repellent. It just shoes away negative energy. The other thing that you can do if you're into cycles of the moon, you could leave your um, crystals, any any kind of object outside under uh, the moonlight to charge them and energize them. You could use, like I just showed you with the uh, selenite on top of my tarot cards. Uh, pay attention to where you place these objects, the care that you put into them. Um, so to give you another example, I have this wooden beautifully adorned box that I put some of my cards in. I programmed that box as a safekeeping energetic comfy home for my cards. You gotta allow yourself to get really creative with this kind of stuff. Some items you can physically wash them with soap and water. It doesn't matter. Whatever feels natural and right for you, go through some kind of purification or cleansing process. The second thing that you want to do is decide um, what type of energy that you want to inject into that item and pretty much like why, what is the purpose behind it. So again, to give you an example, I injected into this pen the energy of creativity, creativity and to channel in spirit. I injected into the energy of this cloth healing peace, prosperity, and love. Even these sunglasses, I mean, pretty much everything I freaking own, I buy it with a specific intent and, pur and purpose to it. Uh, the intent with these glasses is when I'm driving um, or when I put them on, it's helping me filter out things through my third eye. You see what I'm saying here? So figure out what it is that you wanna inject into it and why. What is the, the purpose or the magical property that you are giving this physical item. So the third step is to inject the energy into it. And again, there's no right or wrong way to do this. You do whatever freaking floats your boat. I'm gonna walk you through some of the things that I do. Basically how to, once you've created the energy, creating the energy is just a mindset, your purpose, your why. Injecting it um, is basically powering up uh, that particular item with that energy. One of the cool things that you can do here to help put your natural, intuitive, and psychic gifts into play is to hold the object and then channel in, pay attention to the messages you receive because the this is going to sound crazy, but obviously if you purchase this course and going through it, you're totally cool with all the crazy stuff that most logic and re reasoning wouldn't make sense to. A lot of times objects will speak to you and tell you what their creative intent or purpose is for. So before you go assigning energy into something, pay attention to what it is that you have because that item, if you just meditate um, on it, and I have another video um, somewhere down here on how to read the energy of certain items. So I do believe anything that comes from the earth, crystals or out of the sky, anything that grows, has its own natural individual energy to it, like a living person. <clears throat> so for an example, something like this, this crystal ball here, I would meditate on it and tune into what is the original creation content of this item. What does it want to do? And then program that into it. For something that I bought off a store shelf, I'm just going to think of whatever, why did I buy this and inject that into it as opposed to a non-living physical item, what does it want to do? Doesn't matter, whatever freaking floats your boat. So how do you inject energy into something? Again, it is totally a free, open to personal interpretation as to what floats your boat and works for you. Um, a lot of things that I like to do, because anytime, every single item that I have, I always inject love into it. So pretty much as I'm injecting that energy, I always hold it to my heart, my heart space, as opposed to the opposite spectrum, getting something that you would want to use for negative type stuff, which I would never, ever, ever, ever recommend. So one of the things that I like to do, okay, to, to give you an example here, um, my tuning forks, right? So when I got these, it came with a freaking hockey puck. Clearing the energy of things. 
So to walk you through what I would do with this when I first got it um, would be to sage it. I'm not going to wash it because I don't know if it would rust or the water would damage it. Um, but I would just get a stick of sage, burn it underneath, pure it, cleansify, uh, cleansify it, inject the energy as to what I want. So I would tune into, um, you know, like that tune, tune into um, the emotions and the energy that I want to use this for. So the intent here was anytime I run rung, these tuning forks, it is to clear out and push away any negative residual energy that is around me. I also use it for, since it's a fork, when you think of like spaghetti, what do you do with spaghetti? Depending on how you eat spaghetti, you twirl up the noodles, right? So one of the things that I like to do when I feel my my energy isn't right, um, what I injected in here, my why, is to be able to pick up and pull negative energy, um, like spaghetti being twined up on a fork and throw it out the freaking window. So to give you an example as to what that's like, if I bang on it and I'm listening to it, I would do this all over myself. Like I'm pulled like a fork, like I'm a ball of freaking spaghetti, pulling up all that energy. And then I would open a window and throw it out the freaking window or throw it in the trash or wherever. So as long as you're tuning into what it is that you want, you can hold it over your hands and say a little prayer, invoke a little message. You can put it to your heart. Again, I just say a little prayer, invoke a little message into it and then thank it. Certain items, depending on what they are, I'll put them under my bed and sleep with them um, under my pillow. And then lastly, just put that item to you. So every morning when I wake up, depending on what piece of jewelry I pick, is based on what it is that I want to tune into that day, what it is that I might need healing with, whatever your purpose is. There's certain high heel shoes that I have that whenever I program them to wear, whenever I wear them, every single step that I take is confidence and and just me tuning into all of my power depending on where it is that I'm going. Certain shirts that I wear, uh, you can't see this one, but it has angels and skulls all over it. Again, you, you, you visualize it like you're putting on your super suit or your power suit. Get creative and do whatever works for you and know there's no right way or wrong way to do any of this. It is your personal um, interpretation as to what energy it is that you want to create. You visualize it going into it. You create your own ceremony or spell whatever works. So something else that I wanted to show you real quick as I <laughs> went into my bedroom, rings, right? You you program your rings to do the same exact thing. So when you take them off at night or you're not using, not everything, right? Like the pen or whatever, but certain things that you really use on a regular uh, consistent basis as to care and cleansing and purifying them when you're not using them. This chunk here of clear quartz, you see how spiky it is? A lot of times when I take my rings off like this one right here I don't know if you can see it here anyway both of these rings here there there's main jewelry that you always wear when I take them off at night because this has spikes on it I will purposely sit any of my rings on this uh, spiky quartz thing and let the crystal charge and cleanse them so I don't know, I just thought I'd share with that with you as another creative idea on how to purify, cleanse, and keep these objects that you assigned energy into them healthy, right? So what do you think? Super cool stuff, right? If you like my vibe, you like my teaching style, if you like my energy and my way of showing and explaining this kind of stuff, check out the link that is right below this video. Now, if you've done any kind of research online about other intuition and psychic development courses, if you haven't, let me show you a couple samples here. Okay, this one mediumship course, $555 and it's four weeks, meaning you got four weeks to go through the content. This other one is two hundred and eighty nine dollars and it's a five week e-course meaning each week something is delivered to you so you got to wait for the content this one here is eight hundred and seventy nine dollars and it's 25 hours what I have to offer you is less than two hundred dollars I could easily charge a thousand plus dollars for it you get all of the video content all in one freaking shot like night night flicks <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, probably because you're gonna watch it at night. Like Netflix and chill. You have it forever. Freaking go in, log in, and binge watch it if you want to. Take your time, do one video a day. It doesn't matter. It's yours. Whatever fits your schedule and floats your freaking boat. So let me ask you, what is stopping you from really tuning into your spirit guides and living your most abundant, filled, passionate, high freaking vibrational life-changing transformational life. If it's something that you are really desiring, if you're really serious about changing your life and you're done making excuses and giving yourself all these dumb excuses as to either why you can't afford it or why you can't do it or whatever it is, if you are serious about working with me and working with your spirit guides and transforming every freaking area of your life, I invite you to enroll in Open Your Intuition and Psych senses. If you want to learn more about shadow work, if you want to learn more about deep, di deep diving into the subconscious, healing things, reprogramming things, getting closure, breaking shit cycles, learning how to trust yourself, what those messages are like, how to translate them, and then tuning into your spirit guides and your crossed over loved ones, you are going to want to enroll in this course. You ain't got nothing to freaking lose but everything under the sun to gain. I can show you in the next five minutes, if you hit that buy now button, how to start connecting and receiving messages and exactly what it's like, how to go in the supermarket, how to connect with your guides while you're going about your normal everyday life, shampooing your hair, washing the dishes, going grocery shopping, driving in your freaking car without having to meditate or set all kinds of time aside to connect with spirit. You can connect with spirit 24 freaking seven whenever the hell you want because they are always with you. You don't have to do any of this wacky, weird, woo-woo stuff, although all that stuff is really freaking cool if you're into it, and I do include some of that in the video course, but you don't have to go through any of that. I can show you how to plug in and start getting messages within five freaking minutes, even if you're just sitting your ass on the couch watching this video on your phone. Pretty cool stuff. That is the way I explain and teach this stuff. Just click the button below. You'll get instantly started. You will have access to all 22 freaking videos. They're all bite-sized chunks. I'm still freaking talking, aren't I? Oh my God. Judy, it's all yours. From my heart to yours, use yours. 45 years worth of experience from someone who lives, eat, and breathes working with spirit. As someone who was a survivor of domestic violence, narcissistic abuse, and rape, who did not turn into the empath who is in victim, hermit, unhappy, blaming everybody for problems in her life, but the super bulletproof empowered empath who will show you how to take all your trials and tribulations and traumas, plug into your spirit guides and have them help you heal so you become the most truest, purest, authentic, abundance-filled person, life, whatever it is that you want to call it. I don't even freaking know now. All right. Click, just click the pink button that's below. Hopefully I will see you right inside on the other side. Remember, the ultimate intuitive and psychic tool that you need is you. You are your own tool. You are your own channel. Learn to have a very deep, intimate, personal relationship with yourself. Self-love in every freaking way. Heal yourself. Transform all of your energy. I'm still fucking talking. It all starts with you, okay? It all starts with you. You have to make a choice and a decision. What are you waiting for? Click the button below. Join me on the other side and we'll start learning. Again, I've taken up more of your time. Okay, I'm freaking done. I'm shutting up now.